This is Corona time and self-isolation in my studio in Amsterdam, Holland. I am reading in my great book, The Codex Beer Broadspot, that was made and published a year ago. It made me think of mythology and names of goddesses crowned once like Corona. And there she is, a goddess from Petra in Jordan, where I rented a caravanserai in the desert, and where I painted all the temples, gods and landscapes for 10 years. So I painted her, and she was called Coronis, with her crown, and as a mighty sphinx with claws and impressive wings, worshipped as she was by the Nabataeans in the first century. What else hides behind this COVID-19 corona? Here's what the Greek mythos tells us. Once upon a time, in a kingdom in Thessaloniki, of the Plagiantis dynasty, there was a princess of legendary beauty called Coronis. The god Apollo, who was always looking for beauty, fell in love with her and seduced her, and she became pregnant. That should have been enough, an honor, having laid with a god. Not so for Coronis. She threw herself into the arms of a mere mortal named Iscus. One of Apollo's spies, who were white ravens and crows, told him of his betrayal, and he, the god, furious, outraged, demanded of his sister, the goddess Artemis, to take revenge. Delighted with the adventure, Artemis flew to the palace in Thessaloniki and attacked it with arrows, thousands of them, all contaminated with the plague virus. Soon enough, a pandemic took place. Everyone died, as well as Coronis was infected. The raven spy had seen it all and reported everything to Apollo. Coronis is dying, my lord. You have your revenge. However, as messengers of ill tidings, this did not go well. Apollo, full of remorse and anger, turned the white raven into a black one. And they will ever forevermore be black, as well as the crows. He jumped on the sledge, drawn by white horses, and sped through the universe to see his beloved once more. She, Coronis, on the funeral pyre whispers, Forgive me, and save our unborn son. And so it goes. Apollo ripped the living child, a boy, out of the dying princess. And because Coronis had asked for forgiveness, he elevated her to the sky and installed her into the constellation of the crow, the Corvu star. He the god placed his child into the care of the kentaur Chiron, and he named it Asclepius, a boy with many talents as it came out to be. In the field of medication, inherited by his father, god of medicine, surgery and mathematics, he became the first pharmacist, surgeon and healer ever. His sign, the Asculab, a snake, used until now. Asclepius surely would have already found a serum for our COVID-19 pandemic. So, what are we living now? We live Corona, Corvid, quarantine, fear, pandemic, world chaos. The Greeks said it all. The world order started with chaos. And this was the Big Bang. But who was chaos? Maybe it was a gigantic cosmic yawn, a gaping hole in which everything could just disappear. Like with the pandemic COVID-19, COVID-19, does it look like a raven or a crow? Like in a story of Edgar Allan Poe, this bird sits on our windowsills. 
and in a horrible way starts to crawl and cough. And if you would open your window to chase it away, it would infect you with the virus. The long chain of creation of the world is cuffed and sneezed into the universe and I hide behind my big Corona's painting. There she is. Yes, everything started here and there with this cosmic cuff. Pelicans and penicillin, mushrooms and miracles, humans and narcissists, murder and crime, art, love and confusion, and death and quarantine and madness. The universe, the Greek cosmos, wherein we were cosmopolitans, we are suddenly not. There, in only cosmonauts are dwelling, and they fly up into our universe, cosmonauts, free of corona, I hope. Amsterdam, June 2020, artist in quarantine. I was reading from the book Mythos of Stephen Fry and my own wonderful codex, Beer and Broadspot. <laughs>